Welcome back to Feast Fight Back. Today's video was part one of December, one of the best months of the year. Making me laugh so much because he's as excited about this as me. Anyway, can we check out this Christmas jumper? <laughs> We've got company. Why am I excited? Because this is something, obviously it's the start of Christmas and I absolutely love Christmas. I have a Christmas calendar a chocolate Christmas calendar this year and I am going to have it every single day and today is the 1st of December so we are going for that one so I would be so hard to get out of the thing yeah we have a little gingerbread man. Have these shrunk or have I grown? <laughs> they used to be this small. Anyway, is it a gingerbread man? Might be Santa, what do you think? Anyway, 1st of December, day one, committed, doing this every day this year. This was a random video of me having some of my breakfast. Today is the 2nd of December, so I have my Christmas advent calendar. The dogs are like. Um, where's number two? This one. really hoping that by day 24 of this calendar I can open these doors successfully because that's the second one that I've like ripped there but I've got my chocolate trying to get my chocolate I can't get my chocolate I've got it <laughs> what have I got today this is definitely a Santa that's a Santa that Santa's wearing a hat because it kind of matches my Christmas jumper. These have definitely shrunk though. Anyway, day two. Also, question. Are you one of those people that, like, when they've opened it, they leave it open? Or do you shut it back up? Because I, I'm shutting it back up. That is probably because I've, like, made a mess of it when I've tried to open it both times. But, yeah. Anyway, done. This is my example of a perfect evening. Um, I had cuddles with the dogs and did some of my paint by numbers. Look how cute they are. We are back for day three. <laughs> it's not a good sign that I'm already losing track of the day. Um, day three of December, 3rd of December, as most people would call it. Um, I'm in a different location today because this is the only semi-quiet room in our house. Um, but, yes, Advent calendar day three. Um, I have no idea where day three is. Ah, dead one. I actually want to applaud myself for that because that is like a clean door opening compared to the other ones which I made a right mess of um but what have I got today oh I'm getting a knack of this it is is that snowman I think it's like frosty the snowman these are still small anyway day day, day three it's been a been a busy morning anyway Day three, 3rd of December, advent calendar. Um, obviously I didn't manage to do one last year because things were not good, um, but I am managing to do one this year and that's really good. And I wanted to say, yes, share it with me when you're doing it because it really does make me smile. Um, but equally to those people that don't feel able to do it, that is okay. Um, like I said, I didn't feel able to do it last year and I didn't do it. This year I feel able to do it and I'm doing it. So I know that this time of year can be difficult. Um, so just put your health first. Do what feels manageable. If you can do it, fantastic. Do it with me. We can do it. 
if you don't feel able to, it is okay. There's more Christmases. There's always gonna be next Christmas. You gotta do what you need to do for you and that is okay. But anyway, 3rd of December, done. I'm gonna be really honest here. I have been struggling with my body recently, but the way I'm working on it is by just trying to accept it, trying to know that this is the new normal and that's okay. And part of that has been about outgrowing clothes. So the following bit is me trying to be okay with it. Let's talk about something uncomfortable because these jeans, they don't do up. And that's okay because these jeans do. Remember, clothes should fit your body. You shouldn't change your body to fit clothes. These were my amazing Christmassy nails that I did. They took me ages, but so worth it. Another quick bar review. This one was the Bounty Hunter. Um, I'm not a fan of Bounty, but I wanted to try it. I'm sure it was a lovely bar, as in the like brownie part of it was really nice, but I'm just not a coconut fan. Um, so glad I tried it, but probably about four out of 10. And for a lovely bit of distraction, we went to our local farm kind of place um, and saw all the farm anu animals, <laughs> animals and fed the sheep and fed the coats and everything, which was good fun. Um, we had a really nice like family time out. And another bar I tried, this one, they've released a whole new range and so I wanted to try most of them. Um, the blueberry muffin one, it sounded really good but unfortunately was very underwhelming. The chocolate had not really a lot of flavour, I didn't get any blueberry or muffin flavour, the texture was not great, I'd rate this like a 2 out of 10. Hello, it is the December the 4th, 4th of December fourth day of December, however you want to say it. Christmas advent calendar. It is that one today. Keeping on going. We had had a really busy day the day before and I was feeling very burnt out this day, but I knew I needed to keep on going, so I did. Also appreciate that I've done my Christmassy nails. Did them yesterday. So we got into the door, see what chocolate we've got today. This is definitely a snowman. Okay, December the 4th, chocolate advent calendar. Keep on going. I did try lots of new snacks over December, so I thought I'd put a couple of reviews in. This was the new Buddy's Breakfast Bar, which was like chocolate with, kind of had like cereal pieces in it um, and kind of like a maple kind of flavor. Um, and then it had marshmallows and like candies and stuff on top and actually in the bar as well It was really tasty. It wasn't my favorite one, um, but it was good. I'd say it's probably about a six or seven out of ten It is December the 5th um, So I have got my Chocolate calendar again. I've not got a Christmas jumper on today Very un Christmassy, but I've still got my Christmas nails on um, and I've got Christmas socks on, so halfway there. Like December the 5th is, hey, okay, up in the corner. I know I had, um, I asked a few videos ago, how do you, like, do you close the doors back over after you've got your little chocolate out? And I have to say, I got a few um, messages saying kind of half and half. Um, but I have been closing mine off just because I made such a mess of them when I opened them. But I think I've got the knack by now. Anyway, get today's out. That was well good. Um, I've got, is this a Christmas pudding? Yeah, Christmas pudding. Does anyone actually like Christmas pudding? I don't like Christmas pudding. Um, but December the 5th. Then I tried this bar for one of my snacks, the Santa snack bar. Um, it was kind of on the basis of like milk and cookie, I think. So it had like white chocolate, had those like milk bottle sweets on the top, which I absolutely love. Then it had like a cookie dough kind of thing going on, a bit of caramel and then a cookie on top. And the only bit I didn't like was the cookie on top because it had 
gone a bit, I don't know, soft. Um, the bar was nice. It was very sweet. And I've got a sweet tooth, but it was very sweet. So I'd rate it probably a 7 out of 10. I have to confess, it did just take me about 30 seconds to work out what day we're on. But chocolate advent calendar, day 6. Um, I feel on had to look at the calendar and be like, what was the last one I opened? It was 5, therefore today is the same. Anyway, 6th of December, chocolate calendar. And it is that one there. We have a Christmas pudding. Also, can we take a moment to appreciate my Christmas jumper today? This is one of my favorite ones. I got it a few years ago and it is so, so cozy. Anyway, 6th of December, chocolate advent calendar. This was another new one from the Maxi range. Um, cookies and cream. It was much better than the previous one, but I still wouldn't say it was amazing. I'd rate it probably a five out of 10. I did like the white chocolate. Um, I had my appointment this day. We went into Aldi afterwards and I found a pigs in blanket candle and it smelled exactly like pigs in blanket, which I thought was quite impressive. We went on a lovely walk and this is a random picture of one of my dinners. Good morning, good afternoon. I'm not quite sure what day we're on or what time we're at, but it is the 7th of December and I've got my Christmas advent calendar, of course. Where is day seven? There it is. Can we appreciate this Christmas jumper dress thing? It's very cosy. Anyway, day seven, we've got a star. Okay. <laughs> I think he wants my chocolate. Um, yeah, day seven, Christmas advent calendar, little star. I've finished my chocolate. I think he's the star of the show today. So you might recognise this from my last YouTube. Um, this is just, obviously, it was one of the days in December. Um, so this was me celebrating a year out of hospital. Um, if you want more details on what happened that day, then just go to my previous one. Um, but yep, we celebrated with a chocolate twist at afternoon snack. Uh, went out to a little cafe, which was absolutely lovely. Um, had to look at the Christmas lights and all that kind of stuff. And then my dinner that night was amazing. My favourite foods again. I had um, pasta with frankfurters and then a Cadbury split pop that was a Christmassy edition. Okay, it's post dinner and I didn't know if I was going to film this bit. Um, mainly because I want to go and have a shower and I was like, if I don't film it now, I'm not going to film it. But I just wanted to say, I've probably said it already in this video, but Today is a year out of hospital. Yeah, that whole video is obviously my previous video. So if you want to go and watch that, you can. But I'm not going to bore you by repeating it in this one. This was a random picture of part of my breakfast the next day. Um, had another gorgeous dog walk. The weather was just absolutely beautiful. It was really cold and crisp. One of the best weathers. And incoming another bar review. This was a raspberry lemon. It was like a bakes, like a cake bar. Um, it was actually really tasty. It had a really nice texture. It was kind of like, kind of soft, but a little bit chewy. And the flavor was really nice as well. I'd give this a eight out of 10. It is the 8th of December. Um, I'm not feeling amazing today. Um, so we'll be short and quick today, but chocolate advent calendar. Um, what day is I say the eighth? That one there.
got a star. They ape. After lunch, we went to choose our Christmas tree, see if you can spot mum. Um, I tried a new bar for my afternoon snack. It was a frostbite brownie. Now, I really don't like mint chocolate. I mean, it's like toothpaste and chocolate. Um, but I wanted to try this and I'm sure it was lovely, but mint chocolate is not my thing. Um, so I rate it probably a one out of 10. Um, but I cannot stress this enough. I do not like mint chocolate. So that is probably down to personal preference. But yeah, it was like a dark chocolate bar with mint cream filling and raspberry, I think. It is the 9th of December. Um, by the way, the reason I look so Christmassy today, I mean, actually, I've been wearing my Christmas dress um, all day. Um, but the reason I have a Christmas hat on is because I've been really, really tired and I look atrocious today. Um, and my hair looked really scrappy and I was like, oh, I just need to hide it. So I put a Christmas hat on. Um, but yeah, it's festive, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> day nine of December. Day nine of December. The 9th of December. And I've got the Christmas advent calendar. And it is that one there. I've just got to get it out. Got a little gingerbread man. This is what I had on the 1st of December. And this is when I was like, they've definitely shrunk or I've grown. Could be either. Anyway, 9th of December, Christmas advent calendar, keeping on going. Another quick couple of photos of our walks because that frost, it was just so beautiful. I love that weather. Hello, hello, hello. It is the 10th of December um, and still going with the chocolate advent calendar. We made it to double figures. I think this is progress. Um, I do also have to apologise for how I look. Um, yeah, yeah, don't have much excuse other than the fact it's Saturday. But can we appreciate my Christmas jumper? Llama Christmas jumper. Amazing. Anyway, Chocolate advent calendar, day 10. There it is. Okay, I've got it here. Get it out of the thingy. It is a snowman. Okay, chocolate advent calendar, day 10. Made it to double figures, gonna keep going. That was a really good chocolate. Um, I just really wanted to quickly say I'm fi fi filming, filming this one today. Sorry, my brain is a bit all over the place at the moment. I actually wanted to talk about how I'm finding it um, this year because <laughs> I think this is really important. And I said this in my appointment this week. It's not bothering me. It's lovely. Chocolate advent calendar, chocolate every day. This time last year, I was watching and monitoring and obsessing and terrified of everything that I ate and this year I'm not I'm not better I know I still have a way to go but it's not bothering me this chocolate each day it isn't bothering me um, and I'm enjoying it I decided to try this chicken stir fry that evening and it was so delicious. It was a huge challenge. It was a huge step out of my comfort zones, um, but it was a really nice flavor. Still got my pasta in there, just in a different format. Um, nice to have the chicken. Yeah, it was delicious. Um, yeah, very, very out of my comfort zone, but it was really tasty. Is the 11th of December, um, Christmas advent calendar time, of course. Um, there is number 11. Oh, it's there. I just really quickly wanted to say, because I opened this up and it has a little 14 days to go thing, which 
it's really exciting. I think we all know I absolutely love Christmas. Literally, Buddy the Elf, I adore Christmas. And obviously last year, like being home for Christmas was one of my huge goals. But this time of year can be very difficult, especially if you're going through recovery. Um, so I just wanted to remind you that if you are finding this time of year difficult, um, there is, there's a lot going on. Just do what you need to do to keep yourself okay. Um, and that's what I'm learning I need to do this year. It's, you know, I need to do what I need to do for me to get me through what could be difficult and to keep on the right track and to keep moving forwards. So I just really w quickly wanted to say that because I just saw 14 days to go and I was like, that's really exciting. And it's also, yeah, mixed feelings, um, but mostly excitement because Christmas is amazing. And yeah, I'm excited. Anyway, back to the advent calendar. I'm gonna get it out. I can see that it's a tree today because of the shape of it. Yeah, there we go. We've got a tree. Um, so yeah, I mean, two weeks to go till Christmas. Um, day 11 of December, day 11 of chocolate advent calendar. Keeping on going. This was some baking that I did. I made like little reindeer crispy cakes um, and then also some shortbreads, um, which was good fun. I'm trying to get back into baking. It was something that I very much stopped doing because I was struggling. Um, so part of my sort of recovery is starting to find my love of baking again. This was the next day and oh my gosh, it snowed. I was so excited when I looked out the window. I had no idea what was coming, which is really weird for me because I usually just am obsessed with weather. So I just monitor the weather forecast all the time. Um, but we took the boys out for a little play in the snow and oh my gosh, look how happy he is. Um, but yeah, it was so exciting. I love the snow, he loves the snow. We were having a great time. <laughs> This was another new bar I tried, same range, dark chocolate coconut this one. It was okay, again it just wasn't anything amazing, I'd give it like a 5 out of 10. The flavour was okay, the chocolate was just really weird on it, it was almost like crispy, um, and the core bit was nice but that was all, so yeah, 5 out of 10. It is the 12th of December. Um, we woke up to snow this morning which is super exciting. Um, so I've got like a little winter wonderland. I'm just looking out the window out and it's a little winter wonderland outside, which has been lovely. Um, and I'm in a really like nice big Christmas dress to keep warm. Um, chocolate advent calendar time. Um, what day did I say we we're on? We're on the 12th. Um, there it is. And get it out of the thingy. Yes, we have a Christmas pudding today. So yeah, 12th of December, chocolate advent calendar, day number 12. How many times have I said 12 in the last minute? Anyway, chocolate time. <laughs> Also, update on the nail situation. So I ended up taking off the ones I had yesterday and taking gels off takes ages, but I eventually managed to get them all off. And then I'm gonna redo them today. Um, I can't decide whether to go for a red theme with like Christmas stuff on it or a green theme. Cause obviously I've done blue now. Um, and I feel like red and green are quite Christmassy. Um, red or green. I'm feeling red, like a burgundy. Um, but yeah, it will take me hours to do them. So help me decide what color to go for. I didn't end up redoing my nails this day. So I have to wait for the next video for that because I'm gonna finish this video um, at this point, sort of halfway into December. Um, and I wanted to finish this video on this quote. 